It's the top 25 Toto songs of all time. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Book. I want to thank the 14,577 people who voted. That's amazing. One of our most successful polls of all time. Now, you're going to have a few surprises in this top 25. There's a lot of songs that were never singles, but have stood the test of time of just being great because there's no filler on Toto albums. Number 25, Stranger in Town from Isolation. Comes at a big transitional time for Toto. They had to kick out their lead singer Bobby Kimball after winning six Grammys for Toto 4. Bobby had some drug problems, so in came Fergie Fredrickson. He had that laser sharp voice of thunder. But with this song, it was a familiar vocalist who had the only big hit from the album. Keyboardist David Page. The MTV era was in full swing and Toto brought out the big guns. This was a really huge production with actor Brad Dourif, who four years later would become the voice of Chucky in the Child Play movies. He'd been known for playing peculiar characters. The video was inspired by a 1961 Haley Mills movie called Whistle Down the Wind. In the movie, Alan Bates played a man who was wanted by the law, but kids in the neighborhood mistook him as Jesus. For anyone who's seen the video, you'll know that Dorif played the role brilliantly. This is the only song in our top 25 from Isolation. Now number 24, the only song from Kingdom of Desire. Don't Chain My Heart featured a bluesy Steve Lukather. And let's remember it was the last project with original drummer Jeff Beccaro, who died shortly after its release. The album's harder rock blues edge was a major departure from their last album, that L.A. tight groove sounding the seventh one. Number 23, Girl Goodbye from Toto's debut, an album that will make many stops in our top 25. I was in high school, I was 18 years old when this album was released. And I remember everyone in the hallways were talking about these top studio cats forming this band. They weren't kidding. We're going to get to the other guys later, but David Page, for instance, even before Toto, the keyboardist and vocalist had already worked with Steely Dan, Jackson Brown, Seals and Crofts, Joe Cocker, Cher, Neil Diamond, the Righteous Brothers, and of course, Boss Skaggs, just to name a few. The son of famous composer, arranger, conductor, Marty Page. Back then, David Page was the major songwriter for Toto and would remain in that position for quite a few years. He was also quite a bit older than the other guys. At one point, everyone else was in high school and David Page had been going for quite a few years. Same goes for Bobby Kimball, the lead singer on this song. Number 22, Mushanga from the seventh one. It's an interesting album for the band. A lot of folks have said this is one of the greatest albums for this band. One of the greatest albums released in 1988, but it didn't sell that well back then. But since then has garnered a lot of praise and a lot of sales. For instance, if this poll was only for Europeans, this album would be number one. As we go further into the top 25, you'll see what I mean. And let's remember also, Mushanga wasn't even a hit or single in North America, and only released in the top 40 in the Netherlands. David Page and Jeff Becerra wrote the song, and Joseph Williams does what he does best, belting it out. An amazing vocalist. And you know, when you look at the seventh one, there was no fat on this album. Every single song on the seventh one sounded like a hit. Also, I'm not superstitious, but it seems like the studio projects for Toto with the sword logo on the cover seem to be the band in the zone. The song also featured a future Wyndham Hill artist, Andy Norell, with very tasty steel drums. Number 21, Going Home from the Rarities album, Toto 20. Even though it was recorded in 1989, most I Heard Toto fans had only at that point heard the solo version by Joseph Williams. It came out the year before. Written by Paige Williams and Jeff Beccaro, this one is sung by Bobby Kimball. It also created an interesting universe with Kimball and Williams joining the rest of the band on a promotional tour for the album. We should point out that both singers at that point had already worked together. Going Home was the only single from that Rarities album. Number 20, All the Tears That Shine from 2015's Toto 14. We should point out that we have done polls with a lot of current and classic performers like Elton John, Supertramp, Genesis. I did some Glen Campbell, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Some of these bands don't record anymore, but none of these performers had songs that were newer songs that made their top 25. Toto was on fire with Toto 14. 
This album actually sounds like they're recording their first project. There's excitement on it, tasty melodies, amazing playing, and tunes that rival anything in their back catalog. That says a lot. For a band that's been around since 1977, sung by David Page, All the Tears That Shine has that kind of stick to the bone, melt your heart kind of melody. Number 19, The Road Goes On from Tambourine. If there was ever a doubt that Steve Lukather was not an important member of this band or not one of the greatest guitarists of all time, songwriters, vocalists, I mean, it's amazing what this guy has done and who he's worked with. But his legend was fortified on this album. He didn't have much of a resume before Toto, as impressive as, let's say, David Page. But he sure caught up for lost time. His resume now includes George Benson, Rod Stewart, Don Henley, Eric Clapton, Tony Levin, Pink Floyd, Todd Rundgren, Boss Gags, Larry Carrollton, and of course that huge contribution to Thriller by Michael Jackson. Seriously, it would take like months to run off his resume now. Thanks for watching part one of a three-part video series on the top 25 Toto songs of all time based on our poll where 14,577 folks, fans, music fans, <laughs> voted for this one. Make sure you share our video, we'd appreciate that. Make some comments and uh, subscribe to our channel. I'm John Bowden, part two coming up. This is Rock History Book.